Eee. Tapos na, may ano po ang questions? Parang nasagot na yung mga gustong itanong, uh, uh, Daniel. <laughs> Actually, meron tayong question. Babasahin ko na yung kay Sir Florencio Husay Jr. of Manual yeah. Blogs. So, for Kobe, uh, here's your question. May sure. idea ka na ba what will be your career after PBB? Did I have any idea when I was in the house? Um, to be honest, no. I I didn't really think about it too much. I was just thinking about what was going on in the house. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't think that I would get opportunities like this. And that's why I got so shocked after that. Now I have all these opportunities, like, with the squad plus and everything. Um really unexpected for me but you know um it's it's all like i'm i'm trying to it's it's all like coming through my head now like this is actually happening so mm-hmm. yeah i'm i'm re- super blessed to get all these opportunities and um yeah i'm going to do my best in whatever opportunity i have okay so let's proceed to the next question so speaking of kobe So this is for Andrea. Did you expect to find love while inside the house? <laughs> I did not expect that I would find love because hindi ko naman when I entered Kuya's house, I didn't really it's not it wasn't really something I was looking for. I had like my objective ako and that is to um that is to be more independent, to grow my to grow and develop my character and personality. And but I am thankful na I met Kobe kasi ang dami kong natutunan sa kanya and he really takes good care of me and he supports me. Kaya I will forever cherish Kobe. E. E. Forever <laughs> cherish ang gusto. Oh, Daniel, ano pa? Masada okay, ng so... mga ano, inang lalamang yung dalawa eh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's all from Sir Florencio. So we can proceed to the next um, media to ask the the question. So I'm calling Miss Kate Adahar of Random Republica Blog. Miss Kate. Hi. Good evening. Oh, Hi, question. Miss Kate. Hello, po, Miss Kate. Hi, Miss Kate. My question is for Kobe and Andrea. Um, was joining showbiz a childhood dream? And now that you're here as a love team, what project are you excited to do? Is it a movie, teleserie, or a recording together? First, muna cha. Is it was it was this a childhood dream? Yeah. Girl, ladies oh. first. Andy. Okay. Yes, ang tagal ko nang pinapangarap na mahapasok sa industry na to. I remember nung bata pa lang ako, gusto ko mag-modeling, so makita sa TV, this and that. That's why I started doing commercials when I was in state when I was when I was thirteen. And when I entered PBB, and now that I'm here in the outside world, yung gusto kong ma-achieve sa industry nito is of course to have magkaroon ng sariling pelikula, um, pelisarye, actually any opportunity gusto kong ma- gusto kong ma-explore yung industry na to because I'm really I'm super excited kasi pangarap ko to nung bata pa ako and now that I'm here I can take more steps closer to that dream. I will be open to learning, I will be open to any opportunity given to me. Thanks Andy. What Thank about you Kobe? Um yeah, of course it was my dream since I was a child to be in this industry. Um but I never I never tried to pursue it before because I had this other dream of becoming a footballer and you know i i just never had the time to do like any of these auditions or anything like that um because i had that dream of becoming a footballer but it's it's always there's always been a part of me that wants that that wanted to enter this industry and now that i'm here um now that i'm in this industry um I'm so happy. I'm so happy that, I'm, <laughs> that I get to uh, get all these opportunities. Um, whatever happens, I'm going to try and grab any any opportunity that's given to me and yeah, I'm I'm going to do my best because it's it's not it's not just for me, it's for my family as well, for the supporters out there. I'm going to I'm going to give it my all. Kobe, is there a specific project you're excited about like a teleserie, a movie? 
Thanks, I know. But uh, to be honest, I like any, but if ever, if I could pick over a teleplay or a movie, I would probably pick a movie. Wow. Yeah. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Atiket. Thank and you. Now, Thank you, Bob. Let's go. Daniel? So, so our next media to ask uh, his question is Sir Robert Requintina of Manila Bulletin. So he's the entertainment editor of Manila Bulletin, Sir Robert. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Hi, Sir Robert. Robert. Good evening, Paul. Hello, po, Sir Robert. Okay, I. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll ask. Um, I I I only have one question. Siguro uh, initially dalawa lang, pero siguro baka yung apat pwede nang sumagot no? So I want to ask Kobe and the Hiren uh, Hiren no. All of you are former uh, PDB housemates. Yes. So, what were the uh, major lessons learned inside sa bahay ni Kuya na pwede niyong dalhin ngayon sa bago niyong uh, uh, career as singing, as singers and uh, performers? Major lessons um, learned sa loob ng bahay uh, uh, Para sa akin po, one big lesson that I learned is that in life, you're always going to have to make tough decisions okay. no matter what. Um, I remember there was this, there was this time where, because I, I really don't like to do the nomination and stuff. And I, I was thinking about leaving, honestly, I was thinking about leaving the house because it was, it was just too much for me. It was just too much emotions. And I remember crying to Kuya and he was telling me, you know, Kobe, in life, you're going to have to make decisions like these, tough decisions that are going to affect everything. And you're going to have to be strong for that. You're going to have to prepare. And that's what I'm helping you do right now. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy. He, he really opened my eyes up. And not, not just that, there's so many other lessons, but that is one of the biggest lessons that Kuya taught me. Mm -hmm. Thank, thanks. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you. What about you, Andy? You, what, what is that lesson that you get to apply now? Andy po. The biggest lesson I've learned from Kuya is that sa buhay, mm, hindi tayo palaging mananalo or hindi natin matatagumpayan lahat ng pagsubok na ibibigay sa atin. Pero even if we fall, we have to keep standing up. We have to keep going. And instead of like instead of beating ourselves up because of these failures, we should take it as a big lesson. We should take it as something to improve on and to improve on ourselves and to strengthen ourselves. And yun, dahil kay Kuya, natutunan, natutunan, natutunan ko sarili ko, yung mga tao sa paligid ko because trust is really important when it comes to, when it comes to this industry. Dahil, yung pagkatiwala na yon para sa sarili mo and para sa mga tao na nakakapaligid sa iyo yun yung magbibigay ng confidence sa iyo yun yung mag-inspire sa iyo yun yun yung magmo-motivate sa iyo to do your best to give your all to bring out the best version of yourself Thanks, Andy right thank, thank you Andy you. Hira and Tyron Hira so, ang pinaka natutunan ko po talaga noon sa loob ng bahay ni Quais yung wag kang susuko talaga. Kasi nasabi po yun sa akin ni Kuya nung naging task leader po ako ng isang task, which is sobrang, sobrang wala po akong tiwala sa sarili ko na, and sobrang nalubok po ako kasi natalo po kami sa task na yun. And sinabi po niya sa akin na um, sa buhay may mga challenges talaga, obstacles, problems na ibibigay sa'yo. And hindi sa lahat ng bagay talaga mananalo ka. Pero ang kailangan mo lang is maging matatag at huwag sumuko. Dapat matutunan mo talaga kung paano magpatuloy. And isipin mo lang palagi kung ano yung goal mo, kung ano yung gusto mong marating. Kasi hindi naman palaging parang easy going lang lahat ng mangyayari sa buhay. Kaya kailangan talaga maging matatag ka at huwag kang susuko agad. Okay. Thank you. Right. Kyron, ikaw. Uh, ang pinaka natutunan ko po doon is to love myself, trust myself, and believe in myself. Kasi uh, kahit ano man ang mangyari, yung sarili, mo la yung sarili mo lang naman ang palaging nandyan para sa'yo. At saka 
uh, believing in yourself na kaya mo lahat ng bagay even though na, nagfe-fail ka but you learned a lot of lesson with your mistakes. Ayun po. Okay. Thank you so much and good luck to all of you guys. Thank you, Thank sir, you Robert. sir Robert. Thank you, sir Robert. Good night. You know what? Do you know what? Uh, Kobe, Andy, Hira, and Tyron, mga kapamilya, uh, ang daming matututunan na lessons sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Ang daming mga yeah. pinagdaanan. But let me just share sa inyo kung ano yung, if not the best, one of the best things I've learned is there are things na we don't have control. We don't have control mm-hmm. of. So, um, you know, if as, as long as you're doing your best, you're giving your all. If the outcome is not as what you're expecting it, just accept that you have done your part because there are things that are out of our control and that's part of life. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm proud that uh, I got to learn that inside the Big Brother house. And Daniel, um, next question. Wala lang. Nag-share lang ako. Bakit ba? <laughs> I love that guy. 